Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time ever to my channel, I, I would like to thank you for joining me um, and being here. I hope if you like the content of the channel that you'll do those YouTube things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It'd be very much appreciated by me. Um, this is a crafting channel that mainly focuses on diamond painting. Um, so if this is your thing, I hope you like it. And to all my dear friends and returning True Blues, thank you for continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. So uh, without further ado, welcome. Here's the video. Thanks for joining me. Hello. Um, so here's what I have for you today. Um, I took everything out of the box. So it looks a little scattered. So here's the box. It's a smaller box. And it came with this protection, of course, with um, some of these papers in there. Let me just make sure there's, oh, there's something else in here. Yes, there it is. Yeah, almost got rid of something you needed to see. Um... Okay, so what do I have here? So I have something from my friend uh, Sally from A Homespun Hobby. Um, a while back, maybe two years ago, maybe about, um, she sent me a kit, an old master's kit that I did, and it turned out really pretty. And so she sent me this. This is a beginner's kit. So let me just talk about it um, real quick to begin with. So, uh, the Homespun Hobby, again, her, her name is Sally. She runs it. She's, um, in Massachusetts. Um, she's a small business. Uh, it's like a boutique kind of store. Um, she want, really wanted to take things into her own hands, uh, as far as dime painting goes and kind of create and make them herself. And so she basically is truly almost virtually a one woman show. You know, she... I think she bags all the drills herself. She and she does everything herself. She she when the art, whether it's an old master type thing or some other piece of art, I, I believe she actually um, sits there and does kind of render and color. Um, if you want to call it, for lack of a better word, fixing or you know she goes through the colors that way, the, the, all the pixel things, and uh, she does that. Um, she also basically puts the, does the canvases here. She does, she uses, puts, she has the canvases printed on, I believe it's like, uh, painter's, um, canvas and she puts the glue down herself and I believe, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So she's kind of, you know, doing her own thing, um, wanting to, do the best for her customers and all that kind of stuff. So she sent me this beginner's type of kit to show you all. Um, she also has like patterns, I believe. I haven't looked on the website. <sighs> Excuse me. Just had to get something off my glasses. <laughs> um, um, where you could um, download like a kind of a pattern. So if you have extra leftover drills uh, that you save, you can um, basically create your own type thing as well so check her out you know uh, again i'll link her store below uh i'm going to show you the finished product here um so i'm going to work on this as soon as i'm done with the the unboxing part of the video and i'm going to show you the finish and tell you what i think um now it is a smaller one so it's not going to be you know obviously you know we generally most of us work on larger ones um, so I'm still hoping it looks good as a smaller size, but you know, you know what size is, what's going to look and how for the size, what it's going to look like, you know, so we'll see. Uh, so this is what she sends you. So I had the box there as you've seen. So she sends you two lists. She sends you two of these color lists. So again, cause she does handmade the hand do all this herself. She gives you the DMC number. Uh, first off, I believe the kit that I have is called Cozy Corner Cafe. So the DMC number is here. Then the name of the color itself is here. So all the color names are here. 
Um, that's the actual, I believe, DMC color name as well, the official names, and the amount of drills. Um, I'm not sure if these are the amount that's in the bag or the what needed. I'm sure this is the ones needed because she measures them by weight, of course, so she wouldn't be counting, actually. She's not going to just give you 11 drills, no. So uh, that means that's the amount needed in for the kit is uh, over here. And so this is one sheet of paper. And then she also gives you um, colorized as well. Again, same thing. DMC, the color, DMC name, and the amount that you'll need for the kit here. Again, up here as well, uh, the information, Home Sewn Hobby, the name of it. And this is the color scheme. And that's the, what the color the drills will be for each of these. So that she gives you that. Then she also gives you this. I'm going to just cover this part. It's a little note here. Um, it is a little schematic. Now, this is a sticker sheet. Um, these are not individually done. You had to cut them out yourself. I'm fine with that. But I'm just very happy with the sticker sheet. <laughs> uh, I actually prefer these because so a lot of times when they're individually done, they can come up and then get stuck to things. Or, you know, I actually much rather take the just two seconds than it is to cut out a... Uh, a sticker than to actually have other ones get lost or tear or something. So this is actually my preferred method, but this is the cute little dime painting I got. How adorable is this? I love it. Uh, first off, I love, I have a thing about lemons. I don't know why I don't actually like lemons. Um, the only lemon I actually ever use is in, uh, if you go out and have a diet Coke, I like with lemon please. But beyond that, I don't want anything lemon. I don't like lemon flavor. So um, nothing like that, but I do love lemons as a look. So the lemon wallpaper, and we have a cute little, um, well, I think this is a muffin, but it has have a cherry on top. So it's probably a cupcake, but then there's the more yummy looking cupcake in the back and a little cup of coffee or tea, what have you. I'll call it tea because I prefer tea. And they two these two have smiles on their faces. A really adorable kit. Now it doesn't give you the size on here. Uh, and of course, again, the same thing. They give you the the number DMC, the the schematic over here as well. Of course, um, it doesn't give you the size of it. She also sent this. She sends this little care pack of of goodies. Now again, talking about tea, a lot of people send tea with their stuff nowadays. I, I think that's an interesting idea. You know, a lot of times people will send things like um, a piece of candy, which I'm all for, but they also send tea as well. But this one, I have to rip open this bag. Sorry for all that crinkle, but the this little thing got stuck on here on the plastic. But she actually sent this hot cocoa mix. I rather have this any day of the week. Love hot cocoa. So thank you, Sally, for sending me this yummy looking mix from your deli, no less. Woo! Fancy. And so we have a standard tray and some a little bit of wax. We have a couple, four of these really pretty, um, or five of these. Uh, I don't know if these are stickers or not. You know, I got another one that looked like this too, and I couldn't figure out if it's a sticker or just some sort of decoration. Because if it's a sticker, they're really hard to get open up. But I'm assuming it probably is a sticker. Anyway, they're flowers. I'm not gonna waste time trying to open them up. Beautiful flowers, love. I am a flower person, love those. She Here's her card. And she also sent this fancy pen. It has a little diamond on top. Here's your little, uh, where the wax goes. So, you know, if you're a single placer, you have this cute, fancy, uh, pen to work with. So we have that there. Here are our drills. I wanted a round. I don't know if these come in square or rounds or if you can choose. Um, and so this is how they come. So it's in a, uh, this, like butcher paper. 
brown paper. And so this is the canvas. So again, remember, I told you, this is like a painter's canvas. Like literally, if you use paint and it's on actual, you know, a canvas, a painter's canvas, you know, literal, <laughs> for real. So this is the size. And here we have it. So I'm just going to roll it back this way. I'm pretty sure that's okay. I don't see why it would be a problem just to get it flat. So it is, it's, you know, because it's a canvas, an actual canvas, it is very thick and very sturdy. So you can't even rip it or anything, you know. Um, I, I forget why, but she told me about her making sure the, the, um, oh, what's it called? <laughs> Chris Think. She, she told me um, the edges, the borders, that's it, the borders. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're larger than you see in most dime paintings um, because so the printing is done correctly and the glue is done correctly and all that, I believe. And so, again, like I said, uh, you have the canvas, you have the, you actually have um, the Homestone Hobby printed right on there. And the clear cover over the glue. And so the glue does not come over at all onto the canvas. It only is on here. So it is sticky. Uh, we'll have to see how good it is when I do it, but I don't see why it's a problem. But it is this adorable little kit. Look how cute this is. Um, I do have my tape measure here so I can measure it for you. So it is doo -doo -doo, 29 by about 22 and a half, let's say. So uh, from the actual drill area, it's 29 by 22 and a half centimeters. And again, because of the, the My mind, where are my words today? The image, sorry guys, I, I don't know. Because the image is a cute, uh, cute, simple image, It's it actually looks really good. And I think it's gonna look super cute when done. So I'm gonna work on this now. And if you stay tuned, you're gonna see it finished. First kit of the year is it gonna be this one. And here are our drills. I'm not going to take them out. Um, they, they are, of course, pre pre done in the baggies. You know, beautiful looking drills. Beautiful bright colors. So good way to start off the new year, right? All right. So stay tuned, and we shall see what it looks like. And if I have any other information that I forgot to tell you, I'll tell you at the finish. All right. So stay tuned. Be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back, and I have my finish. So. As you heard, um, this was my first canvas I did of the year. Um, I filmed the first part on the second, and I did this that week or so of it, and it's kind of been um, done since. Um, it's just I haven't been able to, with all the other videos, personal stuff, this, that, and the other thing, I just haven't been able to, you know, get um, the filming of this done and to show you all. and. Scarlet, like usual, is saying hi. She starts making noise as soon as I hit the record. So she wants to say hi to you all. Um, but before I show you the finish, I wanted to update you on some stuff. Uh, first off, uh, Sally is going to do a, um, a, her own event. Um, it starts March 31st, and it's going through May 31st. So again, March 31st through May 31st. Um, so it's two months, basically. And, and it's going to be a liter literary event. Um, and, you know, I'm going to list her store. I'm going to list her Facebook group, of course. Um, so go down there. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be run through her Facebook group, The Homespun Hobby. Um, and she said... Uh, uh, and I'll also link her YouTube channel and the video where she announced it. Uh, because she just happened to give me a little shout out, which is very kind. Um, because she's taking a little bit of inspiration from when I would do my whipping lits 
and she's going to basically kind of do the same thing, um, you know, uh, with doing a book, uh, kind of audio book kind of thing as well. Um, it's just gonna, she's going to do lives and have small businesses on and all that because she's a small business. She wants to promote small businesses. Um, and um, so it's going to be a literary theme. So you you can do things, uh, again, a picture of books, someone reading books, uh, literary characters, you know, anything in that kind of realm and genre um, you can do. Um, I, I don't think, and uh, she gives you all the rules and parameters and stuff uh, for that. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little update about her upcoming event. Um, so it would be really great if you could join, uh, if you have anything you could join. Um, and I also wanted to quickly show you her actual, oh, see, her store, uh, her website. So I'm using the cell phone. Now, I don't really use my cell phone, unlike 99% of the people in the world. Um, my cell phone is for emergencies. I use my iPad for everything. And um, so uh, hopefully it doesn't go all crazy <laughs> on me. Um, so when you go to her homepage, this is what pop pops up. Um, right now, the first thing it says, buy two, get two free. Use code SPARKLES at checkout. Printable dime painting canvases. So those are for her um, printable canvases. Um, again, she has a thing where you can print, I guess, the from your, uh, what do you call it, um, printer. You can print uh, the grid of these. So uh, if you wanted this cute little mug uh, with the gingerbread men, uh, you can print the grid of it. Kind of almost like, I guess, a cross-stitch kind of thing. Uh, if, if I'm, I don't know anything about that stuff, but I'm assuming it's the same thing sort of pattern so you do that and then you could make your own kind of follow it you know doing the kind of uh conversion thingy um so those are some of them that she has uh to pr for printable stuff which is nice and there's more there and then we go down here to some of the dime paintings so she has a lot of old master stuff so there's that you know we can see here's some more old masters that one's, I think, a really nice one called Winter Magic. Oh, I don't know if I'm holding it up for, close enough to see. That's fairly nice. Again, Lady in the Dress. Then we have this cute little fox and this little dog, which probably are starter kits, which probably is the same kind of thing I'm showing you here. Let me see what happens. When I, and it gives you Made in the USA, so it'll say, Diamond Painting Kits Designed by Homespun Hobby and Printed in the United States. Featuring old master paintings as well as old, uh, as well as original work, the drills were purchased from China. Uh, plan ahead to allow four weeks ship out to you. Dime painting kits are made to order. Um, drop shipping is not supported at this time. Again, so like I said, she does all this herself from her home. Um, so you know when you if you order, give her uh, like I said four weeks. Give it sort of a uh, give her some time. And there's my kit right there. So this little kit was $22. Again, really super cute starter kits. And now we have a snow globe, a big kit, and again there. And these are only some of them. Um, I noticed with the, uh, here we have Santa, you know, a, a sexy woman there, a farmhouse. Um, that's really nice, too. A nice snow picture with pink in it. I love things like that. Uh, those pink houses. Um, I noticed a lot of a little elf kind of girl picking uh, plums, it looks like. Again, an old master's. Um, and, that, and that's only some of them. Uh, she has more stuff uh, on the site. So remember, it's ahomespunhobby.com. You know, um, the thing I find a lot with a lot of websites is when you pick, uh, go to select all canvases or a lot of uh, dime painting stuff, you'll go there. But for some reason, they're never all really there. You have to go to other uh, things. I don't know if that's how it is on her site, but it kind of just drives me crazy. You know, when you, you want to view everything, but for some reason, not everything is on the, the right, is under the everything category. You know, why do they do that? Anyways, so that's the two things I wanted to show you before I showed the finish. So here we go. Let's look at it and voila. Now, I was right. 
wasn't I? This is just too adorable. Now, it has been, like I said, a while since I finished it, so I don't really remember my thoughts about working on it or anything. Um, basically, besides the fact that it went really quickly and it came out really super cute. Um, you know me, I tend to eliminate some drills sometimes, but I don't think I did because I could see multiple colors in certain areas, you know, over, you know, and so obviously I probably did this completely to how it was charted. I don't think I probably changed anything on it at all. Um, it is super cute. Like I said, my kind of weird lemon obsession, I really love how they come out up here. I love the colors on the cupcake. Um, they come out, and actually, it looks much more vibrant on uh, the finish. It looks more vibrant than the picture, um, which looked, uh, was nice, but it, maybe it was a little, you know, duller, which I guess it probably should be because, you know, these are actually the drills and everything, and that's just a printed page. But, um, so, I, yeah, the vibrancy of the lemons and the green leaves and the, the cupcake and the blue uh, wrapper are very, very nice. Um, and it give you, it give, again, this gives you a little bit of both, uh, you know, you get some color blocking all down in here and on the table and in him, the, the cupcake itself and in here, and, but you also get a little, you know, a bit, you know, I don't even want to want to call it confetti, but let's face it, um, you know, just a little bit here with the color changes, you know, on the edges of stuff. Um, and of course more color blocking back here. So it's really nice. Um, I didn't have... I didn't run out of anything. I didn't have any issues with the glue. Um, the diamonds are not moving. I'm not like able to, they're not coming off. So I'm guessing that the glue is really good actually because I'm pretty, 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 ugh. I am putting a pretty good force on my nail to try to move them and they're not moving. So uh, that's a good sign. So the glue seems to really work uh, well. And, uh, yeah, so it's, I really thought this came out great. Again, we have our pa painter kind of canvas. Um, so, you know what, if you can, uh, go check her out, go see what she has. Um, you know, Summer with the Masters is coming up, uh, uh, this summer, of course. So if you haven't gotten one yet, you know, go trot on over to her, you know, prepare now, get your canvas for yourself. Again, um, and if you, you're thinking about, getting somebody started in diamond painting, um, you know, just want a little snack size kit. Again, uh, I have a, my friend Keisha is doing a stack attack event. So if you want to get a, a little snack size kit, you can get it from Sally um, at a homespun hobby for that. And that her, uh, Keisha's event is in um, April, I want to say. It's coming up soon. No, March. Nope, March. This February is coming up soon. Yeah, it's in March. So, <laughs> uh, so uh, anyways, I've talked long enough. Uh, this is really fabulous. Thank you, Sally, for sending this to me. I I, I hope, you know, uh, people can go to you and uh, see for yourselves. Listen, again, this is my experience with this kit. Um, you know, Sally, again, she's a small business. Things change. Um, she, she's the one woman show. So, um, you know, be kind. Give some grace uh try something out you know we all try things some companies we love some people some companies we don't oh wow the other person might hate a company the other person might love a company you know um and uh everybody says small businesses are important to support so um if you haven't try just try her um and uh see how you like it all right thank you so much guys for watching sally thank you so much for this canvas i wish you all the best uh, as of course as you know um, with both the business and with the event. Um, and, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Remember, all the links uh, for, for Sally and her store will be linked below in the description box, so check her out. And um, until next time, guys, thank you so much. Um, please be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.